Kasi that's the common, hindi naman common mistake, but parang common lang siya na offer na sometimes it's undervalued. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to effectively capture leads using landing pages. So, yun nga, I've received a question from Jmar Sampiano. I'm not sure if I pronounce your name correctly, but yun nga, his question is, how to capture leads effectively and do we need to offer a free ebook or something to let them opt in? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can take advantage of using landing pages para makakapture ng leads and ano yung mga offer na pwede natin ibigay sa mga, ano, sa mga target audience para mapuha natin yung contact information nila. By the way guys, if you are new to this channel, I talk about the business of landing page design, freelancing, and a little bit of sales and negotiation. So yun na, proceed tayo. For me to answer that question on, on how to make an effective landing page, yung kailangan ko munang i-discuss is yung core concept ng sales funnel. Now, sa so sales funnel, there are four pillars of a sales funnel or a customer journey. So, yung ano, yung kailangan lang natin i-remember is yung acronym na PORN. Now, for letter P, it stands for prospects. Next is O, yung offer. Next is root or the marketing channel like Facebook, Google, or YouTube, or SEO. So, yun yung root. And lastly, yung nurture. Now, for the prospects, these are your target audience. And yun nga, since there are a lot of platforms now, or the root, a lot of platforms, hindi na mahirap makakuha ng prospects or hindi na mahirap makakuha ng traffic. Now, for the offer, ito yung ano mo, ito yung ibibigay mo sa ano mo sa target audience it may be in a form of a lead magnet or the ebook that you've mentioned so yun yeah it's your value proposition and mind you guys most businesses have problems crafting an offer and mamaya i discuss natin kung paano tayo makaka-craft ng offer All right so the next is root again those are the marketing channels like seo or the google search Google Ads, YouTube Ads, Instagram Ads, or Facebook Ads, or TikTok Ads. And lastly, yung Nurture, another channel where most businesses fail. Now, if we relate their marketing efforts, or yun nga, if we relate marketing into dating, you know that you can't ask someone to marry you on your first date. And yet, most businesses would obsess on selling their products or service to people who just saw their brand the first time. Now, what do I mean by that? So, yun nga guys, yung most businesses is that when they run ad, yung goal nila palagi is to sell the product, is to sell the product instead of getting the contact information of those people. So, yung nangyayari, yung cost per acquisition nila tumataas. Which leads na, nagkakaroon ng problema din sa nurture. Hindi sila nag-i-invest dun sa follow-ups. And if you're a salesperson, you know na yung pera is nasa follow-ups. ba? Kasi, what's your guarantee that those people are ready to buy in that same day? ba? There are other people who would buy at a later time pa. Kasi baka nag-iipon sila or something like that. So, yun, which is also the reason why it's very, very important to understand lead temperatures and yung offers to use for each lead temperature. Okay, so here's a quick illustration ng lead temperature. And meron din dito parang percentage ng ano. So, yung meaning dyan, guys, is that yung 10% ng traffic, those are the impulsive buyers. So, if you would run... Um, advertising na didiretso ka ng bumili sila ng product more service mo, 10% of those would be the impulsive buyers. But again, you have tons of competitors. If you are on, ano, on ad platforms, kasi nga, 
those are ano yung system ng ad platforms are auction or parang nag ano kayo nagkukumpit kayo on price to get the the attention of that specific target audience so yun 10% lang yung impulsive buyers and those buyers are called hot leads right or hot prospects the next is yung 30% 30% yung warm prospects. So, these prospects are problem and solution aware, but they are looking for brands they could trust. So, yun nga. They know that they have problems. They know what what solution they would get. Pero yun nga, they are looking for brands that they could trust. Okay? And lastly, ito yung pinakamalaki and mostly ignored ng businesses. Well, technically hindi naman ignored, but the way most businesses approach these type of traffic or temperature is that yun nga, pinapabili nila kaagad when in reality hindi ganun. So yun, cold traffic or cold prospect, these are problem aware but solution unaware. Okay. So, ano nga ba dapat yung offer natin para ma-capture natin yung information ng each temperature or each lead temperature. So for cold, yung potential offers natin, we could we could, you know, we could offer checklist, cheat sheet, reports or infographics. So yun, for the first landing page, yung opt-in page natin, what we can offer them is a checklist. Kasi it's very very easy for them to digest that certain information. They don't have to consume a lot of their time kasi nga they are not familiar with you and solution unaware sila. So yung goal natin is to just let them see their problem and then tingnan nila kung ano yung possible solutions for them. Right? Kasi hindi pa, hindi pa sila solution aware. Now for the warm prospects, eto naman yung potential offers. You could you could do a quiz, quiz type. You could do a webinar or you could do a case study. You could give them a free recording of a webinar or a case study. All right, for the warm prospects. Ito yung mga problem and solution aware, but they are just looking for brands that they could trust. So, most of the time, guys, what works is webinar kasi nga, it establishes, ano, hindi naman credibility, pero it establishes a relationship kasi nakikita ka nila on video. So, yun. That is if you are a service provider or is or if you are offering coaching and stuff like that. Now, for the hot prospects or hot leads, yung potential offer dito is the paid demo or the paid trial or the paid consultation. So, yun. Now, you know na ready-ready na sila. Alright? So, yun guys. Now, here's how your potential customer journey looks like when applied. Ito yung parang landing page combination natin, having in mind yung lead temperature. So, yung first is yung ads. So, guys, sa ads pa lang, guys, the goal there is not to sell anything or not to sell your product. What you want to sell is the clicks, yung maklik lang papunta sa landing page mo. Alright? So, the next step would be, yung first landing page mo is to get their contact information in exchange of something. So, it's always good to consider all traffic as cold temperature. Kung baga, magbibigay ka lang sa, ng something na quick lang. Like, for example, cheat sheet. Alright? So, yun, opt-in page. You could give that a cheat sheet, anything na mabilis i-consume. Wag yung puro ebook kasi you don't have any guarantee that they would read that specific ebook unless one page lang yan. Kasi that's the common, hindi naman common mistake, but parang common lang siya na offer na sometimes it's undervalued. Alright? So yun. The next is once you have the contact information, yung next is you would nurture them. It could be via SMS, it could be via email, or it could be via messenger, chatbots, and stuff like that. Or it, you could invite them inside a Facebook group wherein dun ka mag upload ng madaming videos mo for tutorials and stuff like that or anything na uh, relevant sa kanila or anything na would make them know you more. Right? So yun yung pag-nurture na part. And lastly, once they are ready, you could drive them into the sales page. 
eto na yung may paid consultation or anything na binibenta mo. So that's how your potential customer journey would look like. And yun nga, that's how you effectively collect or capture leads using landing pages. Now, I hope you find this video valuable. Um, yun, I just want you to comment the one takeaway you got from this video. And if you have any topic or questions you want me to cover in the video, just comment down below. And again, thank you so much for your time. And please do subscribe to my channel if you see my content helpful. So, yun. Thank you, guys.